What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the next uh, video in learning um, algorithm. My name is uh, QD Azani and you guys are watching my channel Cryword. Alright guys, uh, we continue our discussion with the algorithm. So if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to our channel, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Alright, so we begin uh, with the discussion of our algorithm. So we dive deep into the world of algorithms we're going to see what is um, algorithm in details okay so in simple terms uh, algor an algorithm is uh, any well-defined computational procedure that takes some value or set of values as input and produces some value or a set of values as output so uh, what is the definition of the problem if you guys don't know the definition of the problem uh, problem is uh, we give some time to input and we're going to get output so that's that's the definition of the problem so if we put something as input and uh, if it produces some value a set of values it means that uh, we are dealing with the problems to solve our problem so it's a problem solving an algorithm is the thus sequence of computational steps that uh, transform the input into the output so we have a problem we give it as an input and we're going to sh shortly see in the next slide what I mean but uh, we're going to give it input and algorithm gives us output we can describe algorithm as a tool to solve a well-defined computational problem in general terms the input and output have a relationship so uh, whatever uh, input uh, we're going to give it to the algorithms and output it has a it has got a relationships in between the algorithm describes a specific computational procedure for achieving that input output relationship so in uh, short basically algorithms are well defined set of rules or recipe for solving some computational problems All right so we see algorithm as well defined set of rules so it means there is a lot of rules inside the algorithm we need to follow so we have a set of rules our recipe for solving some computational problems so we're going to solve these computational problems and what sort of computational computational we means like uh, we're going to build search engine our um, we do any other uh, say sorting our uh, we do finding we do binary search or uh, we do any other search or we do sorting we see what sort of sorting we have and we see what's the worst time worst running time inside the one algorithm to another and so we can compare the algorithm and we're going to compute with each algorithm and we want to see which one is faster at the end of the day we want to see which algorithm is faster and which algorithm solves our problem very efficiently so efficiency is the is the main subject in algorithms so we want to be efficient we want to be fast maybe you have a bunch of numbers and you want to rearrange them so they are in sorted orders you have a shortest path problem from origin to destination what we mean by shortest path shortest paths always was a problem say from origin to destination as we have a google maps and google solved it by google maps and we're going to show you in the next slide about that problem and how the algorithms our algorithm solve that problem and how our, our algorithm compute maybe you want to complete a complex task by the deadline or you want to finish it before deadline so even if you have a complex task by the deadline and you want to finish it before the deadline you guys can use algorithm to solve this problem so at uh, the end of the day algorithm is all about we're going to solve some computational problems and we take come some computational steps to transform that input in and output so we give a give it our algorithm input and it gives us output that's the definition of the algorithms now we're going to see in the next slide the shortest part problem that always existed and google maps they came in and uh, give us uh, the solution so we're going to see what sort of pro uh, algorithm google maps uses all right so as you guys see here we have a google maps and you all familiar with the google maps you all know google maps uh, what is google maps is so you go into a strange country or you're going to a foreign country country never been to and you don't know anything about say you're going to thailand for example or malaysia or to singapore or any other country you go there and you never visited the country and you want to go from a to b even you guys want to walk or you guys want to so uh, but you guys not aware that uh, google um, maps actually uses algorithms to solve this problem so to solve your problem so this is your destination uh, your this is your destination which is a 
and you guys, you guys want to go to B. So this is a graph. So the Google, the way Google solved it is through the graph because they send their cars and they uh, map this area and this actually is a graph for us as algorithm. This is a graph and there are this this roads are nodes inside the graph. So there is a nodes inside the graph. And uh, how are we gonna solve this problem? So the problem is, what's the shortest way to travel from A to B? I think you guys, all of us have this problem. We all have this problem. We all face this problem because we, if we all want to go from A to B. We want to go to shopping center. We want to go to doctor, dentist. We want to go to have fun somewhere uh, in the park or we want to go with our families in a car, by road, by uh, walking, any other means of travel, by bus. So you always, if you guys don't know, any how to get from a to b then you guys use google maps it's very highly unlikely that you guys don't use google maps our uh, apple maps whatever you guys use so but now we're going to concentrate on um, google maps not any other maps maybe there is a baidu maps whatever but uh, the most famous and the most used ones is a uh, google maps all right so what's the shortest way to travel from a to b and so we have this problem as i said before we have this problem and we need some sort of algorithms to so we give input and it gives us output so if you guys look in here that's our input whatever we guys put it here you put your problem and this algorithm gives you guys output so you guys go input is here it says i'm here in such and such place which is say a and i want to go to b that's my input and the algorithm quickly source out straight line a straight tries to do the shortest path so this is called it this is algorithms uh, there's a problem and you guys got algorithm for that and what is the algorithm is called a shortest path algorithm all right so and who invented and whose algorithm is this how this algorithm came into the existence all right so the main mapping algorithm used by in google maps is called graph algorithm and you guys see here there is uh, rows and columns behind the scene and there is a uh, roads here there is a streets here and this actually is a graph so you guys go from a to b it is based on uh, dijkstra's uh, shortest path algorithm what is this dijkstra dijkstra's uh, uh, he was a computer scientist dijkstra 1930 to 2002 he was born in 1930 and died in um, 2002 was a dutch computer scientist programmer software engineer and system scientist okay he published the algorithms this algorithm in 1959 so he invented this algorithm in 20 minutes while he was uh, sitting in a cafe with his fiance and he was having a coffee and uh, he was going to i think amsterdam and i think uh, he then he thought about this algorithms how to get from a to b then i think he, the what i read in uh, i read in his book uh, that he said that he invented in this algorithm in 20 minutes so in 1956 so, and he thought about it and he started writing about the algorithm he wrote about the algorithm and published in 1959 so this is the shortest part algorithm that was there already in 1959 and google came along uh, after 2000 and invented this uh, used these algorithms and nowadays everyone uses it so this is called uh, dextra's uh, shortest path algorithm you guys can pronounce whatever uh, you guys like some people pronounce it dicastras some people pr pronounce it but what i've uh, heard is dextras shortest path so you guys can uh, pronounce whatever way you guys like that's up to you okay so this dextras uh, algorithm is very famous for finding the shortest paths between nodes in a graph which may represent for example road network so as i said to you guys this uh, you guys see there's a road network is actually inside the dextras algorithm is actually nodes so whatever you guys see here the roads whatever you guys see this is a called uh, nodes in a graph and uh, google simplified uh, this map and used that uh, as a it on the graph for a given node in a graph the algorithm finds the shortest path between the node and every other node so if you guys going going from a to b say for example and there is a c and d and e and f there so our you guys going say from a to say f then the, this algorithms finds from node a to all the way to node f 
the shortest path which way which way is going the shortest path even if the halves to go through the node c and node d whatever nodes gets to get to the node f so the algorithm finds very very quick in that the minimum amount of time and if you guys want to if you guys in f and if you guys want to go say to j then the algorithm finds again you guys try to reroute you guys and finds another so algorithm is very efficient it can also find the shortest path from a single node to a single destination node by stopping once the shortest path to a destination node has been reached and whenever uh, what i mean here it can also find the shortest path from a single node to a single destination node by stopping once the shortest path to destination node has been reached so this algorithm is very very efficient if you guys going say already reached to your uh, destination and it again finds the a single node to a single destination node and once you guys reach to your destination then this algorithm stops that's how this uh, dextra's algorithm is so it picks up the unvisited vertex with the lowest distance calculates the distance through it and each unvisited neighbor and updates the neighbor distance if the smaller this um, algorithm starts from the initial node which we have uh, say a from our uh, current position and this has the distance of uh, node uh, another node which is b be the distance from the initial node all the way to b so it just you guys just remember these two words and you guys good to go and this algorithms uh, improves every time it learns about the situation it learns about the graph so it improves um, every time you guys travel or every time you guys uh, customers use these algorithms so it learns every time it, it is used so every time try to minimize the distance and try to make it uh, the routes very sh sh uh, shorter and shorter all right so this is um, this is a video of um, how you guys uh, can uh, solve a problem if you guys got a problem and you guys put it as input and you guys getting gonna get it as a output so this is a clear example and i've proved to you guys that if you guys got a problem you guys can actually apply algorithms and you guys can get an answer or you guys can solve your problem so this fast route planning algorithm is uh, commuting is everyone's a problem so and the dijkstra's come in in 19 uh, say 59 56 and he published in 1959 he solved this problem and nowadays everyone uses this his algorithms he even passed away he even died and um, people still uses his algorithms and uh, he make uh, our lives a lot uh, easier our he actually he solved this our problems uh, a lot easier so uh, in nowadays we just pick up the phone and with this one internet connection we just use it and we go uh, from a to b either you guys want to walk or you guys you want to take a bus or you guys want to take car for whatever reason you guys going any country in the world so you guys can go with ease with no problem all right guys uh, that's it for this video if you guys got any question or comment leave in the comment box otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video and bye